Hey everyone, Charles here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at the Yakima Stage 2 bike rack on the 2020 Chevrolet Equinox. This is your front wheel mount bike rack, so it's going to be perfect for most types of bikes, especially those carbon frame style and any bike racks with those odd shaped frames. It's made out of a steel construction, so it's going to be very durable and last a long time. And this is finished with a gray powder coat, so it's going to keep it rust resistant. I do like how this rack is offset a little bit in a ladder style with the racks, with this rack being up a little bit higher. So it's going to reduce that bike to bike contact. You can also get an adapter to carry an additional two more bikes. Right. One of the great features about this rack is the tilt away feature. Just pull on this, lift up a little bit and then pull it makes it a little bit easier. But on our Equinox here, it gets really low about an inch and a half or so to the ground so keep that in mind if you are on a steep hill or anything like that but we are able to access our hatch with our bikes still attached so we can grab our water our waters our bikes helmets whatever we need for our bike ride i like to grab the handle to lift it up it just locks right back into place so we have two attachment points the front wheel mount and this rear wheel tire strap to take the bike off we are going to start with the strap and get that out of the way and then keeping one hand on the frame so it doesn't fall on your vehicle we can now push this button lift up and get that out of the way All right with the bike off we can take a closer look at some of the features so one of my favorite things is this integrated cable and lock that you use to lock your bike to the rack and you have one for each frame mount there. Taking a closer look at the cradles, you can see that we have a thin groove that will support your thin tires all the way up to your three and a quarter inch tires. Um, the front cradles do support your five inch tires as well. For the back straps, you will need to get an additional adapter that's going to allow you to wrap this around your fat tires. But the back wheel cradle does accommodate your wheel bases of up to 52 inches. With a bike rack on your hitch, you now have this added length. And on our Equinox here, from the bumper to the furthest point out is about 36 inches. Something to keep in mind when you're backing into a tight space or trying to park into your garage. And the ground clearance to the bottom of this handle is about 20 and a half inches. And from the shank here is about eight inches. Another thing to keep in mind when you are going up those steep driveways or the steep hills, the front of your vehicle is gonna go up and the rear is gonna go down. So we can also fold this rack up to save even more space or if we need it to park in the garage. And now that drops the overall length added to about 11 and a half inches. And the closest point is going to be about three inches. Nothing to worry about as it's not going to get any closer than that. We have our two inch shank that fits into our two inch hitch receiver and we have an alignment pin here. All the action is going to come from this speed knob right here that is going to tighten this up and provide the anti rattle feature. It's also it also has an included locking core that's going to be keyed alike with the cable locks on your front wheel mounts. So as you can see, as I am shaking the bike rack, the whole vehicle is actually moving, ensuring it's secure connection. Another cool accessory you can get with this is this Yakima ramp, which fits onto the back of your bike rack. And it's just gonna make your loading and unloading your heavy bikes a lot easier. So overall, this is one of the best bike racks that we have to offer. Um, it's adaptability to accommodate your different weight capacities, your different frame styles, um, the staggered feature of the trays, the tilt away, the toolless installation makes this a great choice. If you wanted something a little bit more economical, 
check out the Rocky Mounts monorail. Other than that, this will get your job done. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side to side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. And that does it for our look on the Yakima Stage 2 bike rack on the 2020 Chevrolet Equinox.